<laughs> How's everybody doing? Okay. Uh, it's about uh, 6, 17 in the morning. I'm going to get ready to fly out again to the West Coast for, uh, you know, to see another client, you know, do readings. Remember, I still got three people that pay for readings, and I haven't heard from them yet. Uh, Abella, call me. I got to talk to you. Abella, call me. Okay. Um, Joanna, call me. Okay. Um, well, today we are going to talk uh, incompatibility of signs. We are going to deal with um, Gemini and Capricorn. Oh boy. <laughs> you know, we are going to, first of all, again, I want to thank you guys for your donations and your contributions. Keep them coming. <coughs> with, you know, you're paying for content. Don't forget to read medium.com slash anthropological series and you know don't forget to read my theater blog you know i have it in the description box i got the website and the link you know that i review broadway plays and i also talk about the same esoteric knowledge and and stuff that you hear me talk on youtube and that you read on medium my review of my plays and not only my plays but i review also broadway plays if you don't know that, that's on you because I have a, a website that talks specifically of all of my 250 Broadway plays that I have reviewed over a span of 10 years. And if you look at the description box, you can go into it. And a lot of my reviews are also based on spiritual-based principles in which these plays represent. I just don't review plays just because I got nothing to do. I review plays that deal with the themes of everyday life that are embedded in the mysteries of life, which I talk about in YouTube through these videos and as well as uh, my other blogs that deal with anthropological research. So don't try to change yourself. Look at my description box, the Emilio Prudhomme Traveling Theater, www.emilioprudhomme.tr theater.blogspot.com it's in the description box and most of the plays that I choose to review either Broadway or off-Broadway have a lot to do with spiritual principles that I often talk about and on YouTube so you know help yourself and read these articles of these thematic thematic thematics that I've reviewed over the years because it's all it's connected it's a homogeneity. So I want you to understand that. Okay? So uh, I want to thank you again for your donations. Thank you so much for your donations, your contributions. Uh, the theater season begins in March of next year. we got plenty of time. And the money that you're donating on the GoFundMe page, they will, I remember, I'm trying to reach 10000 I got... 2,000 something. I'm trying to reach 10,000. And I want to be able to produce more works. Not just in New York, but maybe I can go to your town, to your city, and produce some plays concerning themes and issues that are happening in your particular community. We are a community-based organization, a non-profit. And, and again, we don't charge. We don't charge money for our plays which is why we require and we rely on donations from you, the public, to help us finance our projects. Now, again, if you are in New York City or in the greater metropolitan area, you should come and see our shows. We are a community theater, so it's not a really big deal. It's not Broadway, but it's community theater. And, you know, we have to begin somewhere to raise consciousness. And there's a lot of talent out there within the common folks, more than people realize. And that's the resource that I'm going to tap into. Okay. We all win. We all become winners. Okay. Having said that, now uh, let's go into incompatibility 
of signs. We are going to do Gemini, Mutable Air, and Capricorn, Cardinal Earth. And you know, it is incompatible. I just flat out, without no chaser, incompatible. But that doesn't mean that if you have a Gemini person or a Capricorn person, that doesn't mean that the relationship is not going to work out. It depends on the individual horoscope, birth chart of each other. I always like to give a generic, which is what really I'm required to do, is present to you a general platform, a template. It's not the end all to with all either. It's just another frame of reference. You can take it or leave it. But if you want to make intelligent choices and intelligent decisions, it would be great if you have all of the variables in front of you. And trust me, with this combination, you're going to need it. Because Capricorn is the devil. And Gemini is the trickster. So you have the trickster and the devil together. You could have a lot of fun. <laughs> you could have a lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Let me tell you, Gemini, aside from being sexy and attractive, both the men and the women, that could be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Capricorn, when he or she takes off their hat, look at my hair. My hair is nappy. You know, you know, it's nappy. You know, in the black community, we kind of make fun of each other about, you know, well, I'm not going to mention it because it's kind of racially sensitive, but it's among us. You know what I'm saying? It's like rough, rough hair. But, and, but I love it. I love my hair. I love being natural. I love who I am. Okay? And speaking about the subject about loving yourself for who you are, you're going to need to know who you are. You're going to need to love who you are, whether or not you feel comfortable about who you are or not. Especially when you're dealing with Capricorn or when you're dealing with Gemini. Because both Capricorn and Gemini can be, let me tell you, you know me, I, I tell it like it is with no chaser. Capricorn can be an asshole. And Gemini can be even worse of an asshole. Because they can elect you choose not to give a fuck about how they treat people or how they can um, trample over people's feelings and sentiments and pathos and values, blah, 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 blah. And not to single out Gemini and Capricorn, because all of us are, are capable of that. Remember, all of us are short of the sight of God. He who has no sin cast a false stone, right? So all of us are fall short of the glory of God. Let me just put that out there. So Capricorn and, and, and definitely Capricorn, the devil is no exception. And neither is a Gemini, the trickster, the liar, the thief. You know, speaking of the lower nature. And Capricorn, the devil, the grim reaper. Talking again, the lower nature. And talking archetypically. A lot of people on YouTube get very upset with me. Because they're like, oh, how dare you say this? My boyfriend is not like that. Well, I'm not like, well, you know, bitch. You, you're talking from your own frame of reference. I'm coming from a universal frame of reference. I don't go into details or particulars about individual experiences because Gemini's and Capricorns are different. Race, culture, gender, we're all different. But there is an underlying fabric, a DNA that doesn't lie and may take different variances in how it expresses itself in personality and behavior. But let me tell you, and I'm not just talking about Gemini and Capricorn, I'm talking about all the signs. You have good and you got bad. You got the good part of you, you got the bad part of you. If it doesn't apply to you, some of the stuff that I'm talking about, then that's great. But understand that you are an exception of upon, what is it, 10 billion people on the earth? There are 10 billion people on the planet. 
you are one of 10 billion. So when I discuss a generic representation of the signs of Zodiac as the template, please don't take it personal. If it doesn't apply to you, then it's not yours for you to take it in. But as an astrologer, I'm going to do my job. And I'm going to tell it like it is, whether you like it or not. And I have to say this because I get a lot of slack on YouTube. Not of Capricorn and Gemini, Libra, because Libra, oh, they come for me. But I'm ready to come for them and put them and there, you know, because, you know, you got to call people on their shit. So if it doesn't apply to you, you shouldn't go there. But if it applies to you and it hits you that hard, do yourself a favor and try to evolve. This is the whole purpose of these videos, is to look at your shit. And then evolve from it. And that includes me too. Look, I drink, I smoke, I drug, but I'm 51 years old. And I'm successful and I'm accomplished. I don't have to answer to anybody. I am who I am. If you're not 50 like I am or 40 or 30, then you got no cause for anything. You're still young and you still have a lot to learn. If you're below 30, heed and listen. Because it will help you in the end. This is the situation with, Cap with Capricorn and Gemini. Mutable air and cardinal earth. Where do we see this combination in nature? Well, let's see. Capricorn is, the symbols of Capricorn is the mountain, the goat, and also the goat and the fish combined, although that's more esoteric, deeper. We're not discussing esoteric astrology in my channel, but exoteric and mundane astrology. Maybe. Down the road, I'll go into esoteric astrology, which is a whole different way of approaching astrology. It's far more spiritual, and it's deeper. It transcends personality and mundane events. This is spiritual, transcendental, much higher than what I'm discussing here with you. Right? What I'm discussing with you on YouTube with the videos, compatibility and incompatibility is based on personality and ego. But if I go spiritual, none of this will make sense because there's another level, another echelon up Jacob's ladder that defines astrology on an esoteric level and on a spiritual level that has nothing to do and may even contradict the principles that I'm discussing to you concerning um, compatibility and incompatibility of signs and zodiac concerning the human level of the personality. Right? So, understand that everything I'm saying and what you hear and what you see in other channels is relative because all of us are not in the same platform of evolution. Some of us are stragglers. Some of us are here in advanced level and some of us are trying to learn and catch up. So there are different categories and variances of human beings on the planet. And not all of us are on the same platform of evolution or even of spiritual understanding. And we can attribute that to the sign of Gemini. Consistency, longevity, and an establishment of principles that have stood the test of time and have been exalted just because of the process that they have survived the test of time. That's not Gemini. We have to attribute that to Capricorn. Anything that's worthwhile will, will stand and pass the test of time. Understand that about Capricorn. If you're really genuine, about who you are and of what you do. Ain't nobody gonna stop you. Ain't nobody gonna try to hurt you. Well, they're gonna try to hurt you. But let me tell you, if you come from a place of integrity, dignity, and honesty, virtue, and scruples, which are Capricorn virtues, then you're not going to 
um, fail. You're going to survive, and your mere testimony will withstand the test of time. This is the beauty of Capricorn. The onyx stone, the onyx stone, which belongs to Capricorn, bears witness that, and it's black, it's dark, like dark matter and dark energy, which is the scaffolding of our universe, a symbol of Capricorn and Taurus. You have to understand that true integrity, true dignity and scruples that confers self-love and self-respect begins in Capricorn, which is why Capricorn is undefeated. You cannot shame Capricorn. If anything, Capricorn will shame us and grind us to the ground. Ain't no higher virtue and dignity you're going to find anywhere in the signs of Zodiac than in Capricorn. It is a sign of initiation. And it is the beginning of releasing your personality and ego from this world and on your journey to become God, which happens in Aquarius. The perfected man as an image of God, it's God incarnated in man, Aquarius. But the journey begins in Capricorn. And then we surrender it all in Pisces. When we just throw ourselves into the abyss and go back to the Creator. A lot of high principles when we're dealing with Capricorn. So, the question that we have to ask ourselves is, What about Gemini? What about Gemini? Can Gemini hold the same virtue? No. No. Sorry. No. Gemini is number three. Aries, Taurus, Gemini. Gemini is number three in the span of human evolution. Capricorn is number 10. Capricorn, remember, you got it, it, everything functions in a triad. The concept of the Trinity is very important to grasp and to understand. Aries, Taurus, Gemini is one Trinity. Cancer, Leo, Virgo is another trinity. Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius is another trinity. And then the last trinity is Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Our journey back to God is deep. This is esoteric astrology. It's deep. So these principles of a higher esoteric nature begins in Capricorn. Now, I have to take, it took almost 20 minutes to discuss this, but I have to discuss it because then you will understand why this combination, Gemini and, and Capricorn, is destructive. You want to talk about War of the Roses? This is it. Ooh. I can even, whoo, I can even, I, I can even reach the E flat to go, whoo, it won't even come out. It's deep. How do I begin to describe this combination? Well, let me put it to you like this. The trickster and the devil. They can both prance around with their flute. Right? Like Beowulf, you know, English literature. Peter and the Wolf, you know. It's Peter and the Wolf, if you know, you know, the, the story of Beowulf, which, you know, English literature. You will understand that this combination fits that. The Sage and the Trickster. They both can have a lot of fun. A lot of fun together. 
But over time, Capricorn will outgrow the trickster. The trickster will remain a baby. That's where he finds God within him. Eventually, the Capricorn, the young Capricorn, because let's start below age 30. The young Capricorn will be all in it. But as the Capricorn gets older, his value system will change. And he's going to want what he didn't want before or he didn't think he deserved to have. It depends on the. It depends on which Capricorn we're talking about. Remember, go, go to my Capricorn videos, because I mentioned four major types, sixteen subtypes, and thirty sub subtypes. Okay. Capricorn is complex, and so is Gemini. So when I do a incompatibility of signs, I have to uh, accent the fact that these two signs are highly complex. One is ruled by Saturn, the devil, the Grim Reaper, the one that takes us out of here. And then the trickster, the one that makes life complicated while we are here in this carbon matter, in this incarnation. But both, are, but both, you know, talking about the lower nature. If we go higher nature, what is the purpose of the trickster? The demonic aspect of Gemini. What is the uh, functional purpose of the dark, lower nature of Capricorn, the devil, the Grim Reaper, the user? And Capricorn can be a user, too. I mean, Gemini can be a user, too. So, where do you strike a balance? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. The reason why this combination, the reason why this combination is incompatibility of signs, despite the fact that the modalities are squared and also the elementals are also squared. Because air and earth don't go together and neither does immutable or cardinality go together. When you're dealing with someone that bears this type of combination, you have to um, understand that it is about a balance. It's about striking a balance. And you cannot take someone too seriously under these signs if they if you're young, if you're below age 30. Because they don't really know life. Life that really does happen after age 30. It really does. <clears throat> so if you are not at a certain level of maturity past age 30. The Gemini man or the Gemini woman can game you and fuck you up, but so can Capricorn. They have a lot of game to them, especially when they're young. When they get older, the one that actually does better than the two is Capricorn. Because Capricorn is on a singularity, on a purpose, on a, on a vision quest. Gemini, they just la 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 la. They don't take life as seriously as Capricorn does. But that doesn't discredit Gemini's ability to still go through life and still make something of him or herself. Now, every sign has their strengths and their weaknesses. I have not seen this combination work out. But understand that I'm 50 year old, I'm I'm 51 years old now. When I was studying astrology and I was a teenager and in my early 20s, compatibility or incompatibility between Gemini and, 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 and Capricorn was like a slam dunk deal. Not going to work. Not going to work. Don't waste your time. I don't want to be that type of astrologer. I believe that it can work out. But you have to know the inner matrix of each sign and understand the complexities inherent in there. 
to be able to understand how to deal with such a combination. And we're done with part one.